Who's Annie? Who? Who was Annie, Mother? She was a neighbor who took in kids and did people's laundry. What'd she look like? Dark, curly hair, freckles. Did she take care of me? How could you have possibly remembered this? It's only gonna hurt you. Imagine my life for a moment and how unprepared I was to be the mother of a small child. <laughs> I was used to having time to think and you just want it, want it, want it. I felt like a hostage. Can you understand how desperate I was? I dropped you off at her house one afternoon to go to the beach with some friends. And one thing led to another. They had a beautiful home in Ensenada. Oh, you can't imagine what it was like to sleep all day or make love all day if I wanted and not have to worry about where's Astrid? What's Astrid doing? Mommy, 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 clinging to me like a little spider. At the end, I just wanted to slam you up against the wall. How long were you gone? About a year, give or take a month or two. Oh my God. <sighs> Don't ask me why I left. Ask me why I came back. You should have been sterilized. <laughs> I could have left you there, but I didn't. When I came back, you were waiting for me. You were sitting by the door and you looked up and you reached for me. It was just like you had been waiting for me all along. Because I was always waiting for you, mother. That was the constant in my life, waiting for you. Will you come back? Will you forget that you tied me up in front of a store or you left me on the fucking bus? Are you still waiting? No. I stopped when Claire showed me what it felt like to be loved. I mean, what did you think, that I would amuse you? That's what babies are like, Mother. You couldn't have thought that we would just exchange thoughts on Joseph Brodsky. No. What I thought was that Claus and I were going to live happily ever after. That's what I thought. <laughs> I must have been a damn fool. You were in love with him. Yes, I was in love with him. I was in love with your father. And baby makes three and all that other crap. Then why did you leave him? I didn't leave your father. He left me. You want to know about your father? He left me when you were just six months old for another woman. <laughs> yeah, that's your father. And I didn't see him anymore until he came back around and you were eight years old. He came to see me? Yeah, a little too late, don't you think? No, I don't. I wanted to see him my whole life, and that decision was mine. Not yours, but everything's always been about you. Why the hell should I let him see you after what he did to me? Because it's not about you. It was never about you. It was about me, and that decision was mine. You... I knew that you were going to kill Barry, and you didn't even care. You didn't give a damn about how that would affect me. Look, I will, I'll say whatever Susan wants me to say, but I have to get out of here. No, 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 no. You don't go anywhere. I made you. I'm in your blood. And you don't go anywhere unless I let you go. Then let me go.
you look at me and you don't like what you see. But this is the price, mother. The price of belonging to you. Can't you see that I would take it all back if I could? Then tell me that you don't want me to testify. Tell me that you don't want me like this. And that you would do anything to have me back the way that I was. That you would sacrifice the rest of your life to have me back. Look, forget it. A deal is a deal. We'll just leave it at that. And cut. <laughs>